All right, guess what time it is? It's another elusive target, and this one seems a little bit familiar, but uh, yeah, I think it's different. You know, um, as you can see, we have the return of Sean Bean to Hitman 2, but uh, most people were worried that it would be uh, another rehash of the first uh, elusive target for Hitman 2, but it seems like this is different. So let's watch the briefing and see what's changed. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise, and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47, I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. All right, well, okay. Just gonna show this again. <laughs> Just like the first time. Yes, uh, you see in the end there, she, uh, Diana says that uh, she feels like this is sort of the same thing, but might be a little bit different. Uh, I mean, like, like I said, you notice that he's got an eye patch on uh, one, of, one of his eyes. Presumably that, I mean, because uh, a lot of people use the pen mechanic to uh, kill the target. But yeah. So, hold on. Let me just check this out. Huh. Alright. Okay. And we get, if we complete it this time, instead of the pen, we get little flashy. Oh, it's nice. It's a little robot. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I just need to check something. Uh, I need two more elusive targets to get that but what about silent assassin okay one more so i was going to try to do silent assassin on this but i don't know you know maybe i might try one of the other methods because i know how to do the the silent assassin for this from last time but uh, yeah <laughs> might as well try to kill him some other way so let me check out the starting location course the Florida fit that was what we had last time and choose a gun the classic silver baller mark II. and what can I smuggle hold on uh, let's see hmm mm, decisions decisions I could try sniping him that would be that would be a lot challenging a lot more challenging so let's see if I wanted to smuggle in a sniper rifle I'd have to go with the agency pickup which holds large objects the hidden stashes are little tiny small uh, pickups so let's just try this and let's get a sniper rifle out oh all right and of course, I always bring my trusty lockpick. And instead of a fiber wire, I'm going to bring a concealable baton because that's always good for knocking people out. And uh, yeah, let me 
me just check out uh, the objectives here. Hmm. Huh. It seems like it's the same mission. It's just that he's got an eye patch now. So let's just see if uh, this works. Let's confirm and load. But it's really nice that uh, they're giving people another chance to take out this target because it was, it was pretty fun the first time. And attaching a big name star to such a game, that's good, you know. <laughs> Always uh, welcome the chance to kill Sean Bean, and I guess we get to do it again good this time. 47. Yes, I get it. It's the same thing. All right. Dave so. Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. All right. Okay, well. Let me just talk to this guy first. Hey, I got a space bubble, and you're in it. Okay. You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait for you here. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference room. This all seems very familiar, <laughs> but I'm going to uh, do this again. Uh, I've, I've planned, uh, I've decided that I'm going to do this the same way I did last time, but I, <laughs> there's only one problem. I don't remember how to do it, so <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of trouble. Trying to grab this, get this quickly. Okay, good. Just gonna go out this door. I, I have completely forgot how to do this, so <laughs> this is gonna be really bad. How's this? Where'd you find that? that uh, never mind. I don't wanna know. Let's go. Faber's already expecting us up there. Can't wait to meet him. I wanna see if they changed anything from the the usual stuff. I mean if they if it's all the same, then I might just back out of this this whole plan right here. Oops, uh, I'm gonna get caught this by the security cameras. Good today, sir. So, this deal is closed when we enter the room, all so, right? So, yeah, just I pretty much I'm just gonna check all. out and see what if, what they've changed, if there's anything different. If there's nothing different, then I'll just back out and grab the sniper rifle and try to snipe them from that place. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about your drug affiliations. The Caribbean for the summer. Okay. Stupid. The Marino cartel is the biggest in the southern hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Have a nice day. I'm. All right, so. You don't look at all like I expected. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute <laughs> pleasure to meet you. I'm this Dave again. Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, not a problem, Mark. Not a problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov. A relative of your boss's former partner. 10-4. For the last six months, Sukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out 
He's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very mm. quotable things in the media lately. This all seems so familiar. Knox is <laughs> looking to protect the bottom line. It's all coming back to me now. He's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Mm-hmm. Huh. You've really done your homework. They're going to talk right. about trying to assassinate him. Media attention. Yep. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. Yep, this is all pretty similar. Suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Hmm. Knife on the table over there. All right. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. What else? You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. A medic, about five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom, drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. Final bit? Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. I'd walk away without a single broken bone, but I would love to see you try that. I'll just head over to check on what that you guys working on. You carry on. All right, so it seems like everything's pretty much the same. Let me just uh, go over here and uh, check some stuff out. Nope, not that one. This one over here. <coughs> Sir, you're not allowed to pass. Yeah, I kind of understand that. Let's close this door. Let's close all these doors. That ID card, ooh. Oh goodness! <laughs> Don't pull out that gun. Huh. Yeah, this is all pretty familiar. See if we can get inside there. Or maybe, yeah, inside there. And then we can snipe them from over there. At first, I'll need a uniform or disguise. Let's see, hold on. If I remember correctly, Mr. Faba goes on a loop. So he goes to the conference room, and then he goes and... Oops. Nope, that's not where I want to go. And then he goes to that... Uh, Weapons room and etc. Uh, etc. Et oh. There's a security guard over here. Oh, I don't have a key card. Well, that's too bad. All right, so where am I going to go get a security guard disguise? That would be the easiest way to sneak a sniper rifle into the the box area. This guy? No. Parking garage, maybe. Hold on, let me see if I can go down there. I'll need to retrieve my snap rifle too, so I need to go down there anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be, uh, actually, hold on, wait a minute. Since I'm here, huh. I just thought of something, but uh, I'll reveal what my plans are when I try to do them. Let me just get my snap rifle here. 
Uh, F, pick up. I don't want to press Y. Y is a bad button. <laughs> don't, don't press Y. Press F. Okay. So I don't... Well, I don't know. Let me just, uh, let me just scope out my idea here. I'm going to try to do the sniping from another location. I also... Oh, whoa. I got stuck there. Let me just unlock this door here. There's nobody there. Grab this. Okay. Now I'm trespassing. That's okay. I'm just going to be a little bit sneaky sneaky. There is a dude up here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. If he does, then uh, I am in trouble. Whoops. Hey, you! Trespassers will be shot! Enough! I've had it with you! I told you once. Oh, no. That's bad. <laughs> that is a bad idea. All right. Well, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> ah, that's good anyway. Yeah, that's good enough cuz I just wasted a whole bunch of time uh doing that whole thing where you Good listen to him. 47. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to do this. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful though. He will not wait around for long. Come on, move your camera. So I can go down to the parking garage. Ooh. Alright, so how am I going to do this? I'm going to go with a sniper rifle plan because I think that's a lot more harder than something I've done before. Let's grab this briefcase. Maybe. Oh, no, there's a guy there. I could hide the body in there. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Uh, I wonder if I can go through this area without being uh Yeah, okay. I'm fine here. Good, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> I am in. <laughs> Please, nobody. Don't catch me. I am trespassing. Oh, no. There's dudes in here. Oh, no. What can I do? Two dudes in here. You know what? I'm just going to close this door. Okay, well, that's, uh... I'm gonna try that for right now. Let me try this. Nobody can spot me. Bring out my baton here. <laughs> Gonna get a little sneaky sneaky. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea. Just knock him out. I could disguise as this guy, but let's just try something here. Let me grab this. Huh.
<laughs> I don't know if I can... I can do this. This is gonna be pretty hard. So do I, do I just wait here? <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. I see an arm. Oh, I can't see that far. <laughs> I have no visual confirmation. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, I just missed him. Oh, no. So now I have to wait. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. <laughs> he left. All right. Well, this is going to be trouble. Huh. Oops. Why, well, yes, I'm gonna stick that in there. This up. Ah, well, actually, you know what? I'll drag this guy out for a minute. Hold on. Let's move him to a nice, nice safe spot here. Where nobody will see him. I need a clearer uh, sight line so I can see <laughs> if that really is the target. But at least I am wearing a disguise now. So I'm not suspicious anymore. So go up here. I wonder if I'm allowed. Oh, I'm not allowed in here, huh? Yeah, this is gonna be pretty hard. Oh, oh man! If I could just snipe without these guys noticing. I, I am pretty sure though that if I snipe from here, that bullet is gonna be noticed by those guys. So, not a good idea. There's any other place here? Don't forget, this race is all about getting some miles under the hood. It's as much about the car's stamina and technology as it is about the driver's talent. Mm. I'm okay. Now I'm carrying his briefcase around. No, no, no. No, let's see. I can't go up there. Can't go there. Just uh, taking a look at my options here. Seeing what I can do. Not a good, uh, not, not a good spot. Oh, I'm trespassing. This is a bad idea. I need a security outfit. I need a security guard outfit really bad. Oh no, he's coming. He's coming. Better go, better go. Don't turn around. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Ugh. Turn off the fuse box. If I turn off this fuse box, who's going to come and investigate? Okay, that guy. Okay, good. I'm just going to hide over here. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Oh, I can't believe it's this easy. This is pretty easy. I can I can do this.
This thing was long. Alright, I gotta grab you over here. I'm gonna dump your body. Your body is gonna go in that dump. That crate, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna put this here for right now. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. No, no, he's coming back. He's coming over here. Come on, get over here. I'm glad I dragged that guy really fast. Okay. You do not see me. I'm going to pacify you. And I'm going to turn on this fuse box. So nobody investigates any further. I'm just going to drag you. Dump you. And I'm going to change into your outfit. Good. All right. That makes this very nice. I have a good, good shot here. Let's just uh, unpack this baby. And now we wait. Nope, that's not it. It's over here. <laughs> it's over here. All right, now we wait. That's not him. Oh man, this is. If I if I would have known it would have been this easy, maybe I, I should have just done this in the first place. But man, when I saw that fuse box, I was like, oh oh, the wheels got set in motion, you know. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm gonna do. All right, now we just wait. I'm just going to sit here and wait. It kind of sucks that I have to wait, but uh, yeah, he goes on a loop. He's probably talking to the people in the uh, conference room about how to do stuff. Is there a map here? Oh man. I think you used to be able to see him with the Hitman vision. But I don't think so anymore. <laughs> really sucks, but hey, you know. <laughs> oh man, this this is gonna take a while. But I just gotta have patience. Don't forget the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until our clock takes down. I just gotta have patience because he will get in here sooner or later. Come on, where are you? Where are you, Sean Bean? Look at that. There's no holding back out there. The battle for positions going on into that quarter. Boy, boy, that's Come on, Sean. Mr. Bean, where are you? <laughs> I want to take you out. This video is getting a little too long. Do I have to start this video over? I don't want to. Oh man, I'm gonna have to probably edit this, huh? <laughs> Come on. Do your loop already. Or do I have to restart? Huh, I probably could do the suit only. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting. So that's what's going to 
patience. Just gotta have patience. the scientist there we go okay yep he's coming he's coming soon Killing me. You see the grip on these babies? It's just so strong. I mean, you can try to stay Come on. It'd be funny if this is one of the changes to the mission. He never comes by the window. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I just sat here waiting for about like 10 minutes. But no, I did. I saw him earlier. He just needs to complete his cycle. That's that's all he needs to do. Just needs to show up back in this room, so I can snipe him and take him out from right here. Come on, where are you? I saw that scientist. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's the scientist. Yeah, exactly like clockwork. Okay. He's coming. He's coming here soon. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. There you are. I got you in my sights. Uh, drop, drop, drop. I need a drop. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. I don't know if that was Silent Assassin. Oh. Just need to... Just need to... No, 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 no. Okay, no, good, 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 good. just, you know, don't look at me. Okay, good, good. <laughs> this video is a little long, but you know what? I'm gonna keep it all, I'm gonna keep it all in one video. I'm not gonna do any editing, because that's my mistake and I'll live with it. I had to do a little restart there, but I think this is Silent Assassin, hopefully. Hopefully this is Silent Assassin. Let's just skip this, come on. <laughs> I did it anyways, he did. So, uh... Oh, it's not Silent Assassin? You kidding me? Never spotted, no notice kills, no bodies found. Ugh, oh, well, whatever. That's fine, I don't care. I did it. And, um, yeah, you know? It's not that hard. I just got a little uh, impatient. But, yeah. There you go. That's how you complete that, by sniping him. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, again, it's a shame that you can't replay these missions, these elusive targets over and over, because there are other kills in that mission that um, I didn't know about until I watched some other people play it. Like, you could... Um, I think uh, someone distracted him and like like a like it was demonstrated earlier with their little talk, throw him off a ledge. There's a there's another kill where I think you blow up a bomb, like one of the weapons in the lab is explosive. And uh, yeah, you know there's other stuff you can do. It's just that you know I tried something different this time instead of uh, 
think last time I used the robot to kill him. Because I scanned his face, his picture, into the robot. And, um... Yeah. Oh, I think I was going for trying to stab him with a pen, but, uh... I kind of chickened down on that, and I decided to go the easy route and just use the robot. But, yeah, this time I used the sniper rifle, and, uh, I, you know, I didn't get Silent Assassin. That's a little too bad, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I completed another... I completed another... Uh, whoa, what's this? Okay, a little flashy. Yeah, you unlock this when you just play the game. Play the mission. So, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. Another elusive target done. Uh, killing Sean Bean again. Didn't seem too different from the previous time you had to do it, but eh, it's it's fun again to play with the uh, the elusive target again. Cause you can only play it once, except for maybe Sean Bean here. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, Hitman: The Undying Returns, and that's it. I'll see you guys next time for the next elusive target.